Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 80 of FTB Sky's Expert Mode. I uh, got some stuff planned for today. First off, I made a jetpack because I wanted to go visit another village and I kind of did. Uh, found some stuff. Nothing particularly exciting now. Uh, but I did find what I was looking for, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, so a couple things. First off, I kicked off a crafting request. Can't store what? Can't store what? Polytetrafluoroethylene. Are you being a nuisance about storing things? Because, like, you totally have a spot for it. It's right there. Put it in the thing. Where are you? Give me a bucket's worth. Can you do that? That would be cool, right? It's point one buckets. Oh, I know. That's right. Uh, if I did this, do you think that would work? We're going to have to figure this out, because if this becomes a problem, this will become a problem. There we go. And there we go. Nice. Now that cleared that up. Okay, cool. That might be a nuisance. So between episodes, I kicked off my first batch of Ostrom space plating. I made 50 of them. So that should be cool. Um, now, what we're going to want to do is recognize that we need to do something with these 50 Ostrom ah. space platings. Uh, we can get our first, I guess, because we need 40, right, to make 10 of these. So we're going to need liquid lithium. And our first 40 ready to go there. And then we're going to need lead plates times 10, which I assume we can... We don't know how to make? Killing me, Smalls. Lead plates. Uh, uh. Uh, I know. Who's carrying a villager in his inventory? Dire. Why? You'll find out. You'll find out eventually. Um, boy, oh boy, do we have things going on here uh i guess i could do this spot right and do like even more plates or what i could do is just be like one of these plates we don't really need that much i don't know i feel like we need a lot of those a lot of the time uh maybe i don't know i remember using all of these like relatively recently too like all of these plates are important to me There he is. What's up, Squish? I can put my jetpack away for the time being. I'm, I don't think I need that in my backpack. Uh, yeah, I think I need all these things. So let's pattern provider this guy, right? Can't hurt to have one more. Okay, how are we on channels, wow. though? Not amazing. So if I wanted to be cool about this, what I would do would probably be to change this to some dense cabling. It's a lot of dense cabling to run up here, but I mean, I guess it's doable. cool all right so then you've got five and then you've got three and that's fine cool okay and then to get you being cool we're basically going to want this pattern provider to probably sit like that and then you can get this pattern in you and then we can put normal cables like that. And that'll go to six, and that's awesome. All right. So now we can get our 10 lead. So yeah, lots that I need to do today. Um, partially, I want to get better at um, some things, right? But other things I really want to improve. 
Uh, and I've got a cool plan that I think will be fun. So let's see if this plays out the way I want it to. So you go in there. And then everything should be routing back here. Yeah, it's partially completed stuffs. Oh, right, I need my liquid lithium, don't I? Yeah, remember I set that up? Let's get a tank's worth. Shouldn't be a big deal. And we'll just, you know, this stuff is like basically free. So we break all that. And then we do this. And this Quicksilver can go away. And now we're cooking. Nice. That works. And then we'll have our first set of Ostrom Space Blading Blocks. We need a lot of these, don't forget. But I'll be making them intermingled while we go through, like, stuff, right? Like, so, like, every now and then I'll kick off another batch of 50. Now, the biggest challenge I had in making these, believe it or not, was power. Uh, because each one of these Space Blading Blocks costs 15 million FE to make. That's a lot when you have to make 600 of these, right? Um, so I had a thought. Well, kinda had a thought. I had a thought, a little bit of a thought. Uh, my thought was, hey, look at that quest complete. Hooray, Ostrom Space Blading Blocks. Huzzah. What I was doing is I was kinda peeking at some of like the, the, the progression rewards that you can get for getting stuff done. And I noticed that not too deep into the progression tree, you can get ultimate induction cells and ultimate induction providers. So now let's just validate that I can actually get induction casings, because if I can, then I can have like a ridiculously large battery for basically free, okay? So that is 100% doable by us. And this is 100% doable by us, right? So my response to you guys is let's do it up, right? Like let's just, let's get her done. Uh, so for you, we can even just like auto craft the whole thing. How cool is that? So we can 100% get an induction battery with like massive buffer of power right now. Cool? All right, let's get started on these quests because I just need to complete these three quests and we should be cool. First off, we need 100 buckets of honey and 100,000 RF, okay? Uh, so that shouldn't be too bad. So let's see, FTB. Oh, look at how many FTB, uh, the, the task screen, okay? So for you, we're going to need to set the task um, to be that's a hundred thousand FE, right? Check. And then we can flux point this. And boom, that's done. Cool. And now we need a hundred bottles of honey, right? Now we've got, you know, some semblance of honey going on here. Now are these buckets or like, how does this work? So what can I do with these? That's kind of question number one. And also because I've got these in simulation mode, two things. One, I can 100% take accelerate them. Um, and shouldn't I have like some better upgrades for the bees? Shouldn't there be something in here that's like better? Uh, productivity upgrade, right? Can I not do that? Enderium? Do we not have Enderium going on yet? I mean, I feel like I can do Enderium, right? Didn't I set this up? I feel like I set this up. We totally have Enderium ingots. We just didn't do the gears yet. Okay, that's doable then. All right, let me program the gears and uh, be ready to get this. And then we're going to complete this quest and that'll be cool. All right, so back in just a moment. All right, so here's the deal. Um, honeycomb in a centrifugal separator gives you 100 millibuckets of honey, right? So 10 honeycomb is a bucket. So 1,000 honeycomb equals 100 buckets. So I think... I've done all this correctly. So I, I basically like prepped it all ahead of time, right? Uh, Cause we had tons of honeycomb. I don't know if you remember how much we had, but now we have a thousand less. Oh, don't do that. 
There's my bucket. For some reason, that happened. I guess we were in bucket mode. Don't be in bucket mode, honey. Right, are you in bucket mode? Yes. Bucket mode off. Bucket mode off. Cool. Okay, and then you should drain in there. No problem. And that should be 32 buckets. And that should be 64 buckets. And that should be 96 buckets. And that should be awesome. Hooray! Quest complete. Look at that. Step one done. Boom. That's cool. All right, now uh, we need to do this. So this doesn't look too terrible. Uh, some things maybe more so than others, but I mean, we shouldn't have too much of a problem making this, right? That looks really easy to get. Um, so we need that. We need netherite. Do we have like that on autocraft yet? Not really, but like look how much stuff we've got, right? So give me like a hundred gold plates. Can you do that for me? Thanks, chief. All right. So amethyst. Um, we're gonna want fourteen more of you. I'm pretty sure I have like a full mana tablet here already, so that's cool. Okay. So that would be this complete. Submitted. This complete. Submitted. Boom, boom. Uh, precision mechanisms. We've got one of. And now as a reminder, that is gold plates on this production line, which I still have up and running from a million years ago. Right? So we should have no problem. So if I wanted to do like... Let's do 48 of them. And then hope that we do okay. Let's throw some hoppers in there. Okay. So you... We have a bunch of shafts, so that should be fine for now. Oak. Okay, so we'll do that, and then for cogwheels, number two, now that's where we're going to want andesite alloys aplenty. These might be a little bit slow <clears throat> to craft, and that's mostly because I think I'm doing it in the advanced mixer, and I'm like, hey, don't... Don't put more than one at a time. Eh, it's just a little bit slow in general. Not the end of the world, though. Luckily, we get, you know, lots of this from these. So I wouldn't mind having, like, a nice even two stacks if I can. Cool. So those go in there, and then Iron Nuggets will get two stacks of you. Cool. So there's all the precision mechanisms we're going to need. So you're done, you're done, precision mechanisms are on the way. Netherite ingot, how's my gold? Um, plates coming along, let's get like another hundred of you. Right? Uh, netherite. Scrap. getting there it's like halfway what else did i need so the other thing i needed was um mushroom rice okay so it's going to be potato bowl brown and red mushroom and rice mushroom we actually have some of that look at that we already have mushroom rice how cool is that i'll take it i'll take free mushroom rice sure not a problem 
getting there. And look, automatically making more gold for me because of the keep in stock. I love that keep in stock thing. Absolutely need to make sure I don't I don't forget about that. Because that is just awesome. Alright, so then oh we need 128 netherite ingots. That's a lot of netherite. I mean, 100 percent doable. Don't get me wrong. We're just gonna need a lot more gold. Cool. So I'm gonna let this all run. Uh wow, are we out of this already? That was quick, huh? It sure was. So you guys all go away. And I'm going to make the rest of this off camera real quick because it's just a lot of waiting for crafting at this point, right? So, back in a sec. Alright, that should be two stacks of that. So now we should be cool to submit this dude and this dude. And that will get me some more cool stuff. Alright, neato burrito. Also, I like that I'm getting more oxygen storage. That's cool. Let me snag a tank here real quick. Yoink. Just want to keep our oxygen filled. Now, obviously, I could automate this, but I don't need it that often, so, like, not the end of the world. All right, so you all go away. That's a second netherite oxygen can, which I do kind of appreciate. And I think you can go in, like, any slot, so, like, it's totally cool. Now, do I want to, like, click you or something? There we go. Enabled all armor. Yeah, that's the way we want it. Sweet. So now we have lots of oxygen um, for, for anything we need, right? Cool with that. All right, so you're away. That's all cool. We also got some that stuff, glistening chorus fruit. Can't hurt to take a little bite. Sweet, I got flight from that. That's cool. Is that something I can make going forward? I mean, yeah, a little bit. I just really wanted it for, like, the potential for extra hearts, right? But, I mean, I have flight around the base, so I wouldn't need that. But it would be cool um, to have flight when I'm not near the base. So, good thing to keep in mind. Okay, so now we need this stuff. Okay, so we need 16 simple machine casings. Now we're going to test our automation of these things. Looks pretty cool. Uh, so you don't know how to make overcharged iron. So that's something we should probably add to the to-do, right? Uh, I could put it just here, right? So your uh -huh. down is extracting anything. But then on your south, you're extracting... Um, an empty filter. Okie dokie then. Did I never set you up with anything? Okay, cool. Overcharged iron. Time to learn. Okay. And then on the south, you will extract overcharged iron. Cool. So now if we try that again, 16, we apparently have everything or can make everything. So this will be a good test of how things work out, right? Neat. Things are cruising. Then in addition to that, we're going to need 64 infused alloy. I'm just going to make 70. Uh, no crafting CPUs are available. Really? Uh, they... There we go. Sweet. We might need to get some more CPUs going. Um, so I'm going to cancel you, actually, because you should be fine. You're making more silver for me to keep me in stock. You're making more gold for me to keep me in stock. Reasons to have more CPUs, right? Yeah, for sure. Sweet. Everything's working. I'm assuming you're cooking right now, maybe. Yeah, you actually finished your machine frames. Nice. So are we working or what? What are you currently working on making? Because everything just says scheduled. 
The Nalik resin is scheduled. Oh, you know what? I bet you're gummed up for some reason. Nope. All right, uh, what are you stuck on? I don't know, because your crafting's not locked, so you should be good to go here, right? Ah. And you don't lock crafting. Let's cancel and restart. No, or is it just running? It's got four of them already, so that's cool. I'm going to cancel. Oh, can't store contents. Ethanol, acetylhydrine, and latex. Oh my goodness. We really need some kind of like buffer. You know what I'm going to do? Um, do we have, we have a, we have a chemical cell. We should make a fluid cell. That's what we should do. Just to buffer when things, 4K ME storage cell. So you do what? You pipe directly into that. So we don't have to worry about this. Yes. So if we wanted a 4K storage cell for fluids, maybe a 64K? What are we missing to make this? Yeah, let's get a 64K storage cell and probably a disk drive as well while we're at it. But so you need what? You need that. Um, so you need, I can probably just teach you. And then what do you need? It's mostly doable. So you already know how to make that. A lot of this stuff goes into here. You're also going to need to know how to make elf glass, though, but we can make that now, so that shouldn't be a problem. So this dude for that, and then elf glass. So mana glass, yes, but didn't I see elf glass on something? Yes, that would be mana glass turns into elf glass. So we want both of these, right? This dude for mana glass, which while we're at it, could you get me some glass? So I can add you to the mana glass whitelist. Okay, and I don't need to do anything for this, right? Polar module. Um, Actually, yes. So I want you to be glass can be pulled here. Right. Yes, because we did have a filter on what's allowed to be pulled. Okay, cool. Ah. And then you, do you have a filter going on? No, but down here we will want to add ALF glass to this filter, right? So now if I said I wanted one of these, Springaline glass is missing and elf glass is missing because I didn't put the recipe in here. So springaline glass is... I love being able to automate all these crazy different systems. Is that, right? Um, but you now need to know how to make burnt glass. So it's basically just going to be glass turns into burnt glass. And we're going to go add that to Mr. Fire, right? So fire is here. Ah. Look at it auto crafting more for me. I love it. Okay, so fire glass goes here. Now you're already being smart about doing stuff. So if I requested fire glass, actually let's just request springling glass, right? And see if this works. Ah. 
Let's just request the whole thing. Uh, you. Good to go? We'll find out. Actually, we already have sprinkling glass available, so I guess we're cool. Nice. And then the hope will be that we don't start filling up the drive with a bunch of like fluids that we didn't expect to have, right? So this is really just going to be like a spillover disk, right? When like we have excess fluids available, it'll spill over into that. Um, I think that that's cool. And maybe I'll put it on top here for now, just so like it's uh, kind of always in my mind. So methane is going to be a problem for me. Can I not filter you? I'm thinking I can't. I'm thinking I can't. Right. So you were you were back stuffing on methane, is that right? I think you were. So maybe I'll make my methane tank void. Yeah, so you back stuffed on liquid methane. So realistically what I should do is I should have methane come in here, right? No, because if I do that and you're not voiding, it's a problem. Right. Um So can I not like filter you? Can I filter fluid tank stuff? Let me look into that real quick. Um, do we need a cell workbench? Is that a thing? Maybe. Ah. So, ah. inverter card, I think, is what we would want. And if I understand this correctly, if I put the inverter card in here and then we put methane in it, right, uh, now he's not allowed to have methane in him. Excluded precise. So now he's not allowed to have methane in him, right? And that should be cool. I don't think that requires a channel, so we'll just leave that there, right? And then you, let's just make sure that you're high priority. Shouldn't you be a high priority? I would think. We should probably put quantum fluid in that as well. Right, so no quantum fluid for you. And that should be cool, okay. So now we'll never ever back stuff on stuff again because anytime we have overflow liquid, they'll just go into the cells and any overflow liquid we get, we presumably needed for some reason. Um, and it'll drain from here before it drains from there. Does that sound right? I think so. And we'll know that because when we request more simple machines, let's do like four more. I presume at whatever point, so you have two latex available. What are you getting stuck on, buddy? You're getting stuck on something. And what it is, I don't know. Is it my buddy, the advanced mixer? All right, what I need to do is craft each one of these individually and decide what's not working. So 
let's do this, right? So phenolic resin times three. Empty, empty. Crafting is not locked. It's definitely phenolic resin, right? Available 0.5, unless it's acetyl hydrine or molten silver. Is my magma crucible stuck? Oh, crafting is locked on my magma crucible. Why is that? Okay. So something was gummed up on my magma crucible. Not quite sure what, but that's that's where things were stuck at. Okay. So now we'll try that again in a sec. So now what should happen is everything should flow back into this guy, right? So like we got some of that stuff back. Um, I'm gonna make you like low priority, right? So like that's the last place that you wanna put stuff into. I'm pretty sure when it's a low priority, it means that that's the first place it'll pull from. At least I would hope that to be the case. Okay, so you're clearly working on a lot of stuff for this dude. Yeah, he really drains a lot of power, doesn't he? He does. Wow, close to 2,000 RF per tick. Oof, it stings. All right, I'll be back when it's done, and then we'll see if we can kick off the next craft and if it works now. All right, now my simple machine frame is running again. Hooray! And now hopefully you're draining from this cell first, right? So there's seven latex in there. And you're making some stuff. And I don't know if you know how to make paper yet. I should probably teach you paper. Yeah, you don't. Okay, so seven buckets of latex. Is our simple done? Yes, cool. So now we need eight more to be the 16, right? So you're gonna use three and a half buckets. And then you used it from here, see? So it's, it's taking it out of the fluid storage cell first, which is exactly what we want, right? So like this thing is a buffer for things that we know and care about. The cell over here is basically gonna like be a catch-all for like, hey, we had some extra of a fluid, it wasn't in the tanks over there, now we can store it temporarily, and then next time we craft something with that fluid, it'll use it out of this tank before we're making more. 100% that's the, way, that's, the, that's the way to go, right? I think that's cool. Nice. Cool, and then everything over here is just working, which I love when it all just works. Okay, so what's next here? So uh, we need 256 invar, which I'm pretty sure you know how to make invar, right? Nice. So that shouldn't be a big deal. Um, did my infused alloys happen? Yes. Cool. And you're done. So now um, you, sir. And I should probably make another one of these, by the way, because like we're already maxed out on types. So another 64K fluid, yeah. Missing printed silicon. So that's going to be a thing that we're going to have to deal with next. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so you're done. Submit. You're done. Submit. Now I need echo shards. Finally, the reason that I have a villager in my inventory all episode who's insane. Meh, I made a shady wizard. Um, this dude is made by placing uh, a villager next to the arcane core the center of the crafting apparatus up there. And then you can trade amethyst and source gems. So amethyst and source gems. Trying to walk off the edge, would you, Chief? Hooray! And now you can go away, shady villager. Now I can hand in you. And then we get our invar, which we're almost there on, almost. So close. And now we can hand you in. 
And that is awesome. These are extremely expensive to make under normal circumstances, and they are extremely powerful batteries. So let's come back next time. Uh, what I'm gonna do is probably need to sort out silicon at some point, right? Um, yes, we should add this to how to auto craft. And, and that might need to live like somehow in here, right? Like we have silicon and we've been doing it manually for a while, but we should, we should probably automate this in a smarter way. Uh, which I think we can do now because we can, right? So for now, let's wrap up. <clears throat> and then next episode, we come back um, and decide how we're going to automate that. How are we for channels over here? 26 out of 32. Like this whole area is just like a massive channel sink, isn't it? It sure is. Uh, so as a reminder, to make silicon, we need polyethylene. Which Do we know how to make polyethylene? We don't, but we could probably add it. And then chlorine just needs to sit in here. So like, all I ever do for chlorine is get my brine, right? So answer me this. If I just kept brine in here all the time, electrolytic separator, and you're constantly making chlorine, and you're constantly dumping excess on sodium, is there any reason not to just keep this tank full all the time? I can't think of one. So rather than requesting chlorine on demand, what I vote we do is we just keep that full all the time, courtesy of like some kind of uh, either ender tank or something like that. Right? What if we made an ender tank for this purpose? Yeah. Next episode, we'll set this up, right? And then we just keep the liquid brine always full. This will eventually backstuff chlorine. And then we can basically say insert polyethylene and silicon and get out silicon. Is that cool? All right, for now, Dalton, I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know the deal. Take it easy.